Hey guys, it's Mac and welcome to the YouTube channel. In this video we are going to create this really cool Super Burger Flyer design step by step in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump right into it. Okay so here we are in Adobe Illustrator with a custom artboard that I'll be working on. If you want to follow along, simply go to File and create a new artboard with custom dimensions that can be used for a flyer design. Set the units to pixels and color mode to RGB. Then simply hit OK and you should get a portrait artboard like this. So the first thing we need to do is create a background for our advertisement. Select the rectangle tool and create one equal to the size of your artboard. Now this color is not appropriate for our design, so we will add a gradient. Open the gradient panel from here, and if the panel is missing, simply go to Windows and open it from the menu. Once the panel is opened, click here to activate the gradient, change the gradient type to radial, click here to reverse it, and then click here to create a third gradient slider. Now we need to adjust the gradient color according to our theme, and for this, we will apply these three colors one by one. Copy the hex code for the first color, which is pure black. Select the gradient rectangle. Double-click on the first slider. Set the color mode to RGB and paste the code here. Now once more, copy the hex code for the brownish color and follow the same steps to paste it in the second gradient slider by selecting the rectangle, double-click on the slider and simply paste. Now finally, copy this hex code for the third color which is our primary color for our design. Zoom out to see the canvas. Select the rectangle and double-click on the last slider. Set the color mode to RGB and paste the code to apply it. Okay, so the gradient background is complete, but we will adjust the gradient angle just a little to give it a more modern look. Select the gradient tool and move the circle to a point according to your preference, just like this, and also adjust the size if needed. So now our gradient adjustment is done and it's time to add our other design elements. If you want to follow along, check the link in the video description and download these project files. Drag this wooden surface in Illustrator and adjust it on top of your gradient. Align it to the center and scale it down to make sure that it's not covering too much design space on the artboard. Make sure to adjust it at the bottom and keep adjusting the size until you are satisfied with the desired surface. So once you've done that, you can add some fire particles that I've already created for you in the form of an image, just to save your time. Simply drag and drop this particle image on top of your design and align it to the center. Now scale it down just a little and place it on a desired position just like that. Now you might notice that the image is currently too much focused and we don't want that. So to make it a little better, open the transparency panel and change the blending mode from normal to screen. Now you can see that the image is blending nicely with the background. Make some final tweaks and adjust the size of these particles and also adjust the position. You just need to make sure that the overall effect lies somewhat in the middle of your design and not too much on one side. So now we can add our main product image to our design. Go to project files and drag this burger image in Illustrator. It's a pretty high-resolution image, so you need to scale it down quite a bit, just to make sure that it's not too large. Align it to the center of the artboard, and place it on top of the wooden surface like this. Keep adjusting its size until a significant amount of space is left at the top of the flyer. Now we can further refine the product image. You might notice that the placement of burger on the surface is not looking very realistic. So what we can do is we can create a custom shadow by selecting the ellipse tool and drawing a flat ellipse just like this. Open the layers panel and place this ellipse behind the burger image. Now we can go to the effect menu and apply a blur value to this ellipse. Click on preview to check the effect in real time. 
Once you are satisfied with the blur value, hit OK. Now adjust the size of this ellipse according to your image and also adjust its position. Now the burger is looking pretty realistic and you can see the difference with shadow and without shadow, just like that. Take your time to adjust the shadow position if it's needed. So now we are done with the image part and it's time to add our headline text. I'll be using these two typefaces for my design. These are the names of their fonts and you can simply download them from Google. Select the type tool and write your main headline on top of your design. I'll be writing the product name which has been displayed in the flyer. Align it to the center and adjust the size manually. Hold down the Alt key and click and drag to create a copy. Change the text to something special and adjust it. Decrease its size quite a bit and then rotate this small text to 90 degrees. Place it vertically on the left side of the main text and then adjust its size. Scale it down further and place it closer to the larger text. Now we can change the color of larger text to make it more prominent. Simply copy the hex code for primary color and apply it to this text. Now make final adjustment to the smaller text by placing it closer to the main text. Select both these headings, press Ctrl G to group them, and then align them to the center of the artboard. Make some final adjustments and you're good to go. Now we will add some secondary text using the second typeface of our design. Download this font from the internet and then use it to add some additional text for better engagement. Decrease its size quite a bit and place it on the top left corner of the main heading. Rotate it to some angle just to give it a nice eye-catchy look. Once you are done with the adjustments, select a suitable size and you're good to go. So our design is now slowly coming to life and the next thing we can do is we can add some contact and branding information at the bottom. Select the rectangle tool and create one at the bottom just like this. Change its color the primary orange color that we've used earlier. Now select the rectangle, go to Effects menu and round its corners. The corner radius can vary according to the rectangle, but once you are satisfied with the value, simply hit OK. Now place it on a position like this and then create a copy for the opposite side. Select both the rectangles, press Ctrl G to group them and align them to the center just like this. Now you can add your brand logo on one of these rectangles. I'm using this random logo, but you can use any logo that you want. Drag and drop your logo in your design file and adjust it on the left rectangle. Once you are done with that, you can add contact information on the other rectangle. Use the text tool and write any contact number or any other useful information. Adjust the size and color and also the position to make sure it's centered. Okay, so the last thing is the discount offer which can be added on top of the design. Zoom in on the flyer and use the ellipse tool to create a perfect circle by holding down the shift key. Click here to swap the fill with stroke. Select the circle and change the stroke value to around 1.5. Now use the type tool and write a discount offer with the same secondary typeface that you've used earlier. Adjust the size of this text Place it inside the circle and rotate it just a little bit. 
Now create a copy of this text and complete the discount offer, but use a simple decent font for the second word like Poppins or Arial. Keep the font weight to medium and adjust the size according to the circle. Now adjust its position and apply the primary color to this second half. Once the discount offer is complete, select both the text and the circle and adjust its position by placing it closer to the product image. Now the design is finally complete, and what we can do is we can select the rectangle tool and create one equal to the size of the artboard. Zoom in to make sure that everything lines up properly. Now select everything on the artboard, go to object menu and make a clipping mask. So here is the final design, and this is how you can make a modern advertisement for social media in Adobe Illustrator. Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.